One day, Apple users will have a smartwatch that has a few of the mind-blowing features that Android users have already been enjoying for two years. Instead of bending your iPhone 6 Plus from having it in the back pocket of your skinny jeans all day, you can finally just put your sleek trophy phone away, out of sight, and focus on what really matters. In the future, running marathons for your favorite third world cause is going to be a whole lot more fun because you'll finally be able to wear an 18 karat gold trinket to track your progress. And as a bonus, boldly proclaim your humility, practicality, and conscientiousness to the first world at the same time. Now that iOS apps finally use two-step verification to protect users' files and identities, using iMessages and FaceTime will be a whole lot more fun. We're just not sure if that fun includes actual FaceTime or iMessage integration for the Apple Watch. But if you buy an Apple Watch, you'll definitely have a watch for your Apple device. And you'll smile knowing that you've only paid 50 times the price for the equivalent Android Wear experience. And if your friend has $10,000 just lying around that she doesn't know what to do with, well, then she can get an Apple Watch, too. Then you can feel each other's heartbeat for free. That's the power of Apple's new Apple Watch. Now, consider this. Instead of using the more powerful and connected Google Voice Search available on desktops or mobile devices through Google Now, why not keep using Siri, which still needs to consult Google search results anyway, to do the same job? If you've still got any credit left on your card after you buy your shiny new Apple Watch, why not think about getting another one? After all, not every day can be a rose gold day. And remember all the research that Google did to simplify the user interface of a smartwatch? Well, get ready to experience it all over again now with cover to mute and swipe to dismiss. Gestures that only look a little like Android Wear. Okay, well, maybe a lot. The future is here. And it's not real innovation. It's yet another rehashing of already established technologies from competitors. Take that, Motorola.